Hi everybody. Hi everybody. What a surprise. Sparridge is on the run from the police. Gee, I would have never guessed that was a possibility. And as much as I don't want to talk about this clown, to be fair, he's a better person than Rat Boy, aka Paul Saladino. And it really blows my mind that people support either of these psychopaths, sociopaths, degenerates, losers, whatever you want to call them. Paul is one thing because he has elite society connections that prop him up and give him useless credentials, such as being an MD. Uh, so there's definitely an appeal to an authority for the masses, but Sverige is a totally different story. Some European half-bald lunatic that looks like he spits when he fucking talks. Mm, super nice. <laughs> Thank you, man. Talk, talk. It's like having sex with you. Just better. <laughs> I have you in me. Imagine like baby, but... It's actually mainstream news that Sparridge tried to kill his classmates in high school, which he actually attempted denying in the past. Yet, there are still people who send this guy money every time he asks, which seems to be once or twice a month. I don't think I've ever asked for donations throughout the four years on my YouTube channel. I still work a day job. You know, it's one thing if you're providing a service, valuable information, maybe you're really entertaining, but all this guy has ever done is parrot dietary advice and abuse people. Some of you know that he recently planned on living off grid in Romania. The idea was to escape the new world order nonsense, but in reality, I think Sparridge just wanted some people to pay his rent and he could pocket some money on the side. Hi everybody, since I arrived in Romania things went really wrong and the off-grid group split up. It's only us as a family in one big house. Now anyone with their head on half straight isn't going to go out and attempt to live with someone who tried to commit a terrorist act at a school, oddly enough. Sverige decided to reenact that at the house. Lol, I was there at the house and he kicked everyone out, including Luna and his baby. He threatened people with a knife, throwing their stuff about. Once a psychopath, always a psychopath. Apparently, he was mad that his girlfriend Luna was spending time with someone else. He was mad that Luna and me spent most of the time together as we speak same language and everyone else was always busy. So he kicked us out first with baby after that, the others helped us get the hotel and food with the car. Then he got mad at them for no reason. I mean, I don't know what happened, but again, it just seems like he wanted to cash out real quick and things didn't go his way. Maybe people showed up, he asked them for money, they didn't cooperate, who knows. Interesting, we were supposed to go to his new meeting in August and he kicked us at the last minute and kept our money. Got most of the money back through PayPal now. We're not surprised though. My boyfriend knew him and had stayed at his house. I think he's going through something right now, to be honest. <laughs> this is crazy. Sparridge is continuing this abusive, selfish, narcissistic behavior on what seems like new individuals every few months. Build enough trust in his viewers so they send him a few hundred dollars with the promise of meeting somewhere, then just ghost them. Nope, Luna's back with him. He threatened to kill himself on the next live stream if she didn't come back and then when she did, he threatened her with the hammer apparently and cut her hair off. She messaged Cedric to call the cops and he did. Then when they came, she said everything was fine. Now apparently Cedric is in Turkey and told the others to call the cops because Luna's in danger. This is what I heard from someone who's talked to Cedric apparently. And then he posted this picture. Save Luna and her child from the torture. But then another post said that Luna cheated on Sverige with someone that showed up in Romania. To me, it seems like Luna and Sverige are just working together to manipulate people and steal their money. I mean, that's my best bet. But he has demonstrated abusive behavior on stream before and in his videos. Oh my God, I'm so nervous for tomorrow. Man, you're gonna film me like that? Why would you do that? Yeah, why do you interrupt the stream? Nothing. Because you said until. Why is this funny to you? I didn't even check the fucking time. Like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. I fucking said I'm doing under two hours. What do you not understand? 
I am doing it, you fucking cunt. I said under two hours. Of course it's not just that. He's a known liar. He denied stabbing the students in high school. Is that actually you who stabbed a bunch of students? Somebody else has named this guy. I don't want to name his channel. You can look it up. He made it up simply, I don't know from what. Uh, so I, I think pretty sure he was a vegan because he. there's a video of me going to actually my school where I went to and the teachers were welcoming me. And then the comments like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why are the teachers welcoming him? It doesn't make any sense. And then he... Uh, the video is still up. The comments are put on a hold. They're deleted. So okay. you can't see the comments that clearly point that out. So it's just bullshit. He lies about things as simple as not drinking water because his idol, Ajanis, didn't drink water. But here he is taking a gulp. He lies about being carnivore. Here's Luna cutting up some fruit. And the dude has people send him their own blood so he can drink it. Whoa! The color is nice. Cool. Damn. The elixir of life. So do you also want it? I'll keep you some. Yeah? How much? Half? It's, it's kind of hard to really tell how... Can you hold the phone? It's kind of hard to tell how much I will really take it. Okay, after this day, I'm autistic, I guess. <laughs> it's really hard to say, like, because it's so little, how much I take, like, you know? Like, it's hard. Maybe I'll do too much. It's pretty really hard. Just leave a little, that's all. How's the taste? Mm, super nice. <laughs> there, nigga. Okay, so th there was like nothing. So, like, because it was only till here, so. Mm hmm. Mm. That's it, it's like yeah. a little tiny piece. Thank you, man. Tak, tak. It's like having sex with you, just better. <laughs> I have you in me. Luna is tasting it. It does taste like Ludwig, weirdly enough, right? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh man. Interesting. Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh man. I would like more of this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, I get it. The epiphany of my life. I get everything now. This is why they do it. Imagine like baby blood. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck man. To top this off, people are still meeting him. He just had a meetup in Germany last week. Ja, da hat der Typ original gesagt, morgens am besten erstmal fünf Eier essen. Ein halbes Jahr nach dem Seminar schreibe ich mit dem in so einem Gruppenchat und dann sagt er, nee, nee, der Vortragende da, der hat gesagt, äh, Eier sind schlecht. Und ich so, nein, der hat gesagt, man soll fünf Eier am Tag essen. Und der war der Meinung, der hätte das komplett anders gesagt. Das Einzige, was anstrengend ist, sind die Sehnen. Dann schluckt man runter und man hat nur die Sehne im Mund. I mean, look. I made some jokes about Sparage and the raw tards being a bunch of homosexuals. Like the reason they don't eat salt is because they don't want their sperm to taste salty when they suck it out of each other. <laughs> but that's not really a joke anymore because if you think those dudes aren't gay, you might want to see an optometrist. So I, I don't know what type of weirdo, wacko ritual stuff they're doing, but there's got to be some type of cult-like reason people are still paying attention to this guy or associating themselves with him uh so i guess thank you guys for joining me today a lot of you were commenting and kind of bothering me about this if you guys don't mind liking the video leaving me a comment down below as well as sharing it on social media if you can if you guys do want to support me further you can go to frank com to check out everything that's available from frankie's free range meat to frankie's naturals thanks again for joining me today guys 
I'll see you for tomorrow's video.